Cool. So, again, my name is Khalif, and I'm here with Dan Choi of Flex NBA. He's going to show us some very exciting things that you guys have been giving me questions about, and I'm excited to show you. But before we do that, we're going to learn more about this man who has brought this opportunity for all of us. So, just give us a little bit about your background. How? What is the genesis of Flex? Like, this is insane. Yeah, so I grew up loving basketball, playing basketball since I was 10. Uh-huh. And of course, I was a big gamer at the same time. And then eventually I grew up. <laughs> I uh, had uh, the opportunity to marry a, an amazing woman and have two beautiful young boys who were really into Pokemon. Mm. And I was spending three to $500 a year on Pokemon, sometimes what? more. What? Did they get the Charizard? I don't know what they got. But <laughs> they started throwing away nine out of the ten cards in. You don't know what they were throwing away. And I was spending all this money, so I just went to a specialty store once for a holiday, mm-hmm. and I said, "Hey, I want something in sports." And they said, uh, "We don't have anything in sports." So I did some research, and I couldn't find anything. So then I, I happened to be ranked in a in a in a game called Star Wars: Galaxy of Heroes. Ranked? Yes. How did you get ranked? Like. I played a lot, <laughs> and not only that, I played games my whole life. So I used that background, and I locked myself in an office, and I started building this game. And I started testing it with my kids. Mm-hmm. It worked. They liked it. I invited my son's basketball teammates over. They played it. Gave them pizza. They loved it. They were like, "Who's Moses Malone? Was Kevin Garnett this good?" You know, <laughs> questions like that on these mockups. Right. I got it patented, and then we started thinking, okay. Let's take it to the leagues. We talked to baseball, basketball, NFL, and then we decided uh, to bring in some technology, which, you know, take the old school and bring it to the new. That's very cool. That's very cool. So, like, what made you guys, or what made you go to the NBA first to make this the first go at this idea and this technology? Well, the NBA is a global leader in, in, in a lot of different ways. Mm-hmm. Premier League in the, in the recognized across the world, cutting edge of technology, and of course it's it's one of my true loves. I love all sports. Uh, What's your team? My team since this is since the eighties is the Warriors. Okay, so oh, no, I'm not, I'm not a rough fan. times. Rough times. <laughs> so we, went, we went twenty years without going to the playoffs. Yeah, I am not your fair weather fan. I, I was a fan when Larry Smith and. And Chris Mullen and Winston Garland were on the team. This is way, way back. We did. People were like, who was that? Yeah. Hey, that exactly. <laughs> but we went to games where it was like $5 a ticket. What? I remember like that. like free hot dogs mm-hmm. and all that. So they were trying to get people to come out. So um, that that's my squad. And, and that's why we chose the NBA. is the progressiveness of the league, the global recognition, and, and really it's just, you know, one of the biggest passions I have. Very cool, man. Um, <clears throat> so... Why, why do you think there hadn't been any post-sports strategy game before? Because you would think there would be. There have been a couple shots at the, at, at, on goal. But I think the biggest issue is that a lot of these games tried to be simulators. Mm-hmm. I don't have time to play a 48-minute game. <laughs> I, don't have, game. I, don't, I don't have time to play a 60-minute football game. Right. I love these sports, mm-hmm. right? I wanted to switch it up and build a fantasy metaverse. Okay, mm-hmm. superhero wise, these guys, these guys are our icons, mm-hmm. and their flexes, their power moves, are the moves they've developed since they were on a blacktop, six years old, seven years old, mm-hmm. working on it their whole life. Those are the, the power moves that you're going to be able to flex on your opponents with. That's mm-hmm. definitely the sense I got with that. Like, you see, like, a nip, first look at these flexagons, they just look like superheroes yeah. that, that come from a different planet. And yeah it removes that whole sports thing and just makes them like legends that they are because they're so uh, the pinnacles in our culture. Right. Right. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep asking these questions, but I'm, I'm excited to see them in action. Yeah, we wanted a, kind of a Naruto meets meet, meets pro sports, you know, <laughs> like, sure. like an anime yeah. feel to it, something different, mm-hmm. you know, and, and eventually we hope to get real creative with the art. We've already talked for the NBA about it, and so stay tuned for future seasons. We might be able to do some more out of this world stuff. How how is it working with the NBA? With this with your tiles, they're anything? amazing. Yeah. The NBA is is this amazing partner. Um, they've been so supportive in different ways. Um, the artwork that you're seeing is of the highest quality. They had us change the shade of eyes. Shade of eyes. It was too dark. <laughs> they, they, they had they noticed when NBA logos were missing on a pair of shorts. That's crazy. You know the, the detail. detail. Yeah, the t- detail is crazy, and 
the seven artists we commissioned for this world class yeah, world class, class. Really and, and you can see them on our instagram we tag them on all the photos amazing artists that help us hand draw that swiss art they're the works of art uh, had you so did you work with adam silver on this or talk to him about the or not adam silver directly no yeah. but i did get a chance to meet him at the nba all-star game in 2016 here in la what for real yes yeah that's a busy big but to get the opportunity that's I actually walked up to him and said, <laughs> I have an idea. I'd like to work with the league. And this was at the Hall of Fame breakfast at the LA Convention Center. And he happened to be sitting about 20 feet from me. I said, if this isn't destiny, I don't know what it is. <laughs> and here we are. Yeah, here we are. That's dope. That's so dope. Yeah. So who is this game for? Like, who is the, the audience specifically? Community is so important. Mm -hmm. And me being a, a ranked gamer, I know. Community is what I want to focus on. I want to build everything around flex around the community. And that could be the kid who's just picking these up, building their team up, wanting to complete the set. You know, it could be an adult that's like me who's, who's loved this and want to share with their family. It could be the, the, the young up and coming, you know, 20 to 30 year old professional who plays basketball on the weekends mm -hmm. and just wants another way to consume the NBA, you know. But, but what I can say is with this diverse group, you got you know, your video gamers, your fantasy sports players, you got your just traditional sports fans. Mm -hmm. You know, I want all of them to feel like part of the community. We want to engage with them. You know, Discord's gonna be a big thing for us. Uh, social media is gonna be a big thing for us. I want to hear what people want because we could go in so many direct, different directions with this. Yeah, just even as, as a growing up, or like I just love playing these tabletop games mm -hmm. with my dad and see, to see this remix yeah. of the new school goals with the stead. It's um, it's crazy that we're in 2021 and that you brought this here. So it's, you see it. It's a remix. It's it crazy. really is. It's this genre has been around for 40 years. Believe it or not. That's you know I go to house like yo know, people think like we will play board games you know what I mean yeah. and then like we play a ton or we play you know whatever but to see this here is mind blowing. I think I think it's a game for sure. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, 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 that way. <laughs> uh, are you working directly with any pro players? So we are launching a full scale, mar scale marketing that's going to time with our launch when we start shipping. We want people to be able to go to the website, buy, and get it in two days. Right now we're still in pre-order mode, so we've got some uh, cool stuff there. But we, we don't want to announce any partnerships yet because uh, we want to time it with the release, which we are looking at. August yeah. is, is kind of the, the rough thing. That's the hard part because everyone just wants to but they'll be mindful to do it right. So I definitely appreciate and respect that. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have um, a question? Mm -hmm. We got a question. We got a question. So, how do you entice non gamers, non techie fans of the NBA to try and buy NBA Flex? Why do they want to get into the game? Yeah. yeah. So, here's the interesting thing in building the game, I talked to over two, 200 kids. <laughs> and asked them, how do you play Pokemon? And they all said, oh yeah, I know how to play. Uh, this is my card, and it's better than yours. <laughs> and I said, no, 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 tell me the rules. Mm -hmm. None of them could tell me the rules. Hmm. It made me realize they're not playing. They're making up their own rules. The imagination they had is what kept them coming back. And I started recognizing, I had to go watch three YouTubes <laughs> to learn how to play Pokemon. I played other games before, right. so I knew those, but I wanted to specifically know that. And it taught me something. It's that, you know, A, from a tech standpoint, this is easy. I'll show you guys how to do this right on camera in just a sec. Super easy. Number two, non-gamer, you know, these are works of art. This is a way for you to, to uh, join this fantasy metaverse, you know? And, and it's not just about, hey, we need to play this. And in fact, we've done some market research. Uh, there, there's a percentage of people who will play it. There's some people who absolutely don't have the patience for this. They're like, I don't, I don't wanna read this, I don't have time for this. That's okay, it's okay. Um, that's a normal reaction to this. But then you see Pikachu sell for 130 grand. Yeah. That was not a Pokemon play. <laughs> I can tell you that. Okay, it, it you know the, the the audience is much bigger than just gaming, than just technology. But we really think we have something cool. When you hold it in your hand, it, there's something magical to have. Yeah, I can't wait to, to hold it. Yeah. Um, we're gonna go. Uh,
definitely gonna box it. Um, who was your favorite player again? My favorite player growing up was Chris Mullen. Chris Mullen. Yeah, Chris Mullen. You guys should look. Not Tim Hardaway? Tim Hardaway. Tim Hardaway was on that team. Run, yeah, run TMC. That, that was the crew. But Chris Mullen, something about the jump shot, the left handed. Are you left handed? No. Oh, you jealous that he was left handed? Were you those kids that wanted to be like left handed? Because it's pretty. I just say, I'll just say, I miss so many left handed layups as a kid. <laughs> Me too. I mean, <laughs> it's I, hard. I went to the. Right I, step. I shot a hundred of them just to get it right. Just to be like Chris Mullen? No, my, my coach. <laughs> oh. My coach was not happy that I was missing my left handed goal. So I came here with the noodles and stuff like that. There were no noodles back in my day. No, what would you Oh, just straight up. He just went to the yeah, black top. Yeah. Black top. Um, so we're going to go. So make sure, guys, uh, before we, we're about to go into the unboxing and show you guys the ARX tech, go to YouTube Live. The link is in our bio. Um, so you don't miss out. You want to see these guys in action. Um, yeah, so I think the AR is only going to show up in YouTube, right? Right, YouTube. Yeah. Okay, so head on over to the YouTube link. In the meantime, let me show you what it looks like. Yeah. What you've all probably been waiting for. <laughs> okay, so uh, if, if we could switch over to gameplay mode. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, say for demo only it's going to say first mint so that's the cover comes with a quick start guide and these to you on cool. doing this. American, guys again like I said in my post we're going to give away two of these demo kits two of these two of them like we're like this is the opportunity I think you're being to. too generous honestly <laughs> there's some cool stuff in here this is a quick reference guide a playbook with all the rules in it if you want to get into the details it's going to come with a game board. This one is the Chase Center, but you won't get the Chase Center. Uh, you'll get a standard one, but we will be selling ports. Like your own port. Yeah. Like the man said, the board is bad. And here are some of the tiles. You're going to get five in a starter kit with five FX tiles. We're going to go through and get all the pieces in here. Um, you're going to see the individual art. I'll just hand these to you. You can check them out. Uh, first of all, does it look, tell people about the feel, because I always want to get the feedback on that. You know, like, is this, oh yeah, it's like a, like a there's like a little separation here. I don't, yeah, the, but, image. I mean, the image is, like everything that's encompassing in this flexagon is so nice. The image is, is, is embedded between the two. And if I could reach over you, with, 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 Wait, yeah. I'm going to show you when you buy the expansions, these are built for unboxings. And I, I imagine some of you guys on the stream are going to stack these, you know, 50 high. It's got like Save the boxes, by the <laughs> way. Save the boxes, I will tell you. This is our exclusive first look at the first mint. Yeah, it says right there on the right corner. And I hope some of you guys do some unboxings on this. You'll cool. see they come straight in a box like this. By the way, please remove the protective film, okay? <laughs> There's a matted film on this that is there to protect your purchase, but remove it to get the nice shiny gloss. We have it on the box, but I know some of you are gonna forget. Uh, all of these come very protected, and again, save these boxes, we're gonna stack them up. It's almost like sneaker heads, like, a, like flexagon heads. Oh, well, like flexagon heads, yeah, I'd love to see it, I'd love to see it. But you can see each of the artworks is very yeah, unique. I mean, yes, this is, this is a great freak, like last night. It's insane, this is totally encompasses this, this player personality. Yeah, it's dope. We got B, yeah. we got him, we got the tarantula, tarantula which is right. classic. We got the claw, we just learned about his ACL tear, and he hopefully gets back 100%. He's yeah. a cyborg, so you know he will. Yeah. Now I'm going to show you where the magic happens. Okay, we're going to go, this is what, the, you guys are getting an exclusive first look at the app, by the way. 
uh, which will be available in the App Store. Uh, I'm going to go to now the AR viewer in the bottom right, and uh, we're just going to go ahead and put Steph Curry uh, right on your screen. You see, oh, Steph. You see the detail that comes out. Oh, yo. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone tries to touch it. <laughs> Not only that, you guys are going to see a lot more Khalif because when I hit this play button, Yo, what is that? Yo, crazy, son. There's like... We're going to have in-app announcements, exclusives. We're going to keep you coming back to the app. Yo, this feels like, you know, that's in the Star Wars. Like, like, yes, like, yeah, it feels that's like the exactly holographic. Like, where we, we got the idea from. That's dope. That's Not only that, these guys are built to scale. So, you're going to see Russ come out. He's a little bit taller. Uh, MVP is he going to do the rocket buy? He's going to do the rocket buys in the Euro? Uh, he's, he's got, everyone's got their own little custom animations. Um, and what's really cool is, oh, he's doing a little... Uh, he is doing a rocket buy, my boy! Yeah. <laughs> he's doing the rocket buy. Yeah, doing that. Yeah. Uh. And, 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 you know, you're seeing this for the first time. So yeah, the, I'm there, yeah, this is nuts. Yeah, so you got Jimmy Butler. And they're drawing the stakes, it's the skip scale. So you got Yoke and Josie, he's the biggest Joker, one. Joker, yeah. Yeah. right there. Right? <laughs> yeah. Now they also play off of each other, right? So if I take Steph, mm -hmm. okay, so let's put him back on here. And what we're going to do, we're going to put some shoes on him. Okay. This is an FX shot you're going to see. Watch. Once it recognizes his animation changes. Why? He's happy he got some new shoes. <laughs> and then, um, you guys probably know who this is. Uh, this is his oh. Splash Brother teammate, Clay Thompson. Uh, he's got his own uh, signature follow through there. Mm -hmm. When him and Steph, when they see each other on the court, and by the way, I'll just drop a hint, there are combos in the game yeah. that you're going to want to figure out. Hey, this is um, great. Like they're interacting with each that's other. Right. And they do their little pre-game routine. And, and you're going to want to discover where these combos are at. Uh, we're not going to tell you where they are. Oh. So so you'll be able to fill these out, fill, fill out who they are. Yeah, uh, look at that, look at Shimmy dancing. Mm -hmm. The Splash Bros. Here's some other of the uh, FX style. We have Unreal Flex Mode. Oh, what does that mean? Sports Strength. So Unreal Flex Mode, what that will do is it adds 20 total damage to your next flex, mm -hmm. reduces the next damage by 15, and lasts for three turns. So look at that lingo, that shit without lingo. Oh, yeah. So, so you've got sure. another, the Mando if, if, you're, if you're serious about it, if you're serious about it, um, you're you're gonna be able to get into this. Here's Joel. This is different. Yeah, is he gonna do his patented? You, you wanna uh, hand me uh, Giannis? Oh, you know I do. I love my Giannis, man. Yeah. So here's Giannis. Great, great. So the amount of detail. By the way, they're, they're, if you get a reflection like we are on the lights, it will affect the AR, and that's something we. You know, you're just going to have to try to find the lighting that works for you. But uh, again, all these guys are going to have their own custom custom animations. We're going to keep you coming back for more. And the cool thing is there's going to be a social sharing feature, which allows you to share this mm -hmm. with your social media. So when you get an MVP uh, tile yeah. uh, flexing on, you can say, hey, hey I'm flexing this. Yeah, it's like, oh, man, why is he doing this? Now i got to put my game up. Yeah. Now, let me show you the, the next magic, which is the registration. Right. And a lot of questions are on this. So hit the middle button, which is roster. From there, at the bottom right, you see this says register your top. So here, what you're going to do is on every flexagon, I'm going to flip this to the back, and there's a code. Okay. Once I hit that, once the code is registered, it's going to ask you to put that in your roster. Now, I am the singular owner of this one tile in the whole world. So even if we produce a thousand of these steps, each one is yours, okay? Now, what does this mean? There's no fakes, there's no fraud, <laughs> there's no chance that you, you can get something that, because we, we control everything, right? We got a little bit of a glare here that I'm working with uh, in terms of the, the, the lighting in the room. But if I can get this so that the lighting, there we go. go. Now I'm adding to my roster here. Now, the other cool thing besides knowing that you don't have a fake tile is you can upgrade these flexagons. Okay? Upgrade. You can add on 
So it just shows up on your companion and mm -hmm. tells you exactly what that You might even do something where you do some, walk some steps, do some activities. You can level these up, okay? And there's a clear ownership, right? So as soon as it leaves a factory, you can see who's owned each of these. Imagine you're the original owner mm -hmm. of First Men and you powered it up six times. Okay, so, so so the possibilities are really endless. But again, you just go ahead and continue to just build your roster uh, over time, and uh, and that's how it works. Can, can so can you explain this technology to me? Because like when you see this, I don't. I would imagine there's some kind of QR code or something like that that would register to the phone that shows the hologram or shows the player. But I don't see any of that. So can you? So we, we do have patents pending, yeah. which means can't share too much of the secret sauce. What I can say is we have all these individually hand-drawn works of art. It interacts with the device. It creates the 3D image. And we're able to you know, work with that and, and change it and keep it fresh. So you're always going to want to come back for more. And they also play off of each other. Mm -hmm. Not required for you to play the game. You don't need it. Mm -hmm. But it, it, it's there just to not only look cool, but so that you know your opponent's tiles are legit. Right. I don't want to be playing with someone who got a bunch of stuff from who knows where. Mm -hmm. And uh, by the way, you know, fraudulent, you know, collectibles right. are like rampant. Yeah, they're rampant. Right. So we we uh, we're trying to knock that out. So you said like you register this, uh, all your players as one. You're the only person who has that tile in the whole world. That's right. And like one of one. It kind of makes me think of like NFT. Right. A little bit. And the blockchain. Yeah. And like, as crypto as they say, the whole world is so hot right yeah. now on top of that and whatnot. Yeah. Is this that? So, of? it's a great question. NFTs, by the way, I think NFTs are going to be the way of the future. Mm -hmm. And it already is now. I think when we buy cars in the future, yeah. it'll be tied to that instead of through a pink slip and things like that. I heard home mortgage companies are starting to use these as well. So I think it's going to be part of our regular business of uh, doing business in this world. But right now it's super hot. Mm -hmm. It's easy to say, oh, this is NFT. Again, I cannot share the secret sauce of the technology behind it just because we do have some patents pending. But what I can say is that when you buy a tile, it is registered, there's a clear chain of custody. Everything's transparent. You'll be able to see it. We'll provide a, a service to make sure that you're, if you want to authenticate someone's tile, you can authenticate it through us. And, and of course the biggest perk is you're able to do video game style upgrades in the real world. Like this stuff you can only do on a PC console mm -hmm. or mobile device. Now you can do it with these physical things using the technology. So we've taken this tried and true genre, we're bringing it into the 21st century yeah. with all the latest tech and we're gonna continue with all of it. You're not, like, so you're not completely new, like you said, it's like, 2K, I mean, I love that game, but that's like limited and monopolized in within that world. But with this, you can expand and do anything that's possible. That's possible. That's right. Yeah. So, 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 you're not doing anything. Or, this is, I don't know what to even. So, yeah, but there's a die, right? There's two dies. Yeah, there's a, there's the play, act, play action die. Let me, let me show it to you on, on the camera so you can see it. This is the play action die. It has all the different moves you can have. This tells you what you can do: unlock, mm -hmm. double unlock. So each yeah. of these, each of these tiles has um, two or three flexes, right? mm -hmm. and then you can use FX tiles. You can upgrade the players as well. There's also a ball die right here, the ball die, but it, it increases, and decreases, or affects you know, the amount of damage you do. Oh, uh, so playing this game, how long is like the game? Okay, so <laughs> for example, if you have like an MVP Russ, like the one in this demo kit, mm -hmm. okay, you and the other team, let's say your opponent doesn't have anything, it's a three minute game, you're gonna waste them. What? <laughs> if you have a balanced battle, mm -hmm. it can go 10, 15 minutes, you know, just back and forth. I've had some, some games where it's gone, you know, 20 minutes just because. There's a lot of strategy involved. Mm -hmm. It also depends on the FX tile you have. You can have up to 10 FX tiles on there. So it really depends. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, this is very overwhelming but exciting. I mean, this is just, it's, it's, I guess, camera is playing it, seeing it in action. Uh, yeah, so I'm just 
Well, okay. here's the cool thing about this, and you brought up a great point. If I want to re re or redo the the LeBron on Iguodala block mm -hmm. in a game mm -hmm. on a PS5, that's hard to do. You can't. Yeah, you can't. You'd have to like time so it right. and do it exact. Guess what? We might have a flex mm -hmm. that lets you relive that over and over and over again. Right. Okay. Right. So so maybe that Giannis block becomes a season two flex. You know things like that. We can be real creative with this mm -hmm. and and allow you to. Keep it going, keep it going. Right. Yeah, send some more questions. More questions. Adrian asks, is there a similar product out there that is really unique? Meaning education is the key to get customers and users. Yeah. Um I haven't seen anything like it. I haven't. Um, <laughs> so I don't know. I mean there could be some something in the world out there that's that's doing, but uh, you know, what I also do know is the NBA's been a great partner. They're, they're, they're very uh, specific about the licenses they get out. Um, so I uh, can't disclose if, you know, the details of the license, but what I can say is you know, they've, been, they've been very supportive of us, and, and, and uh, I don't know. I haven't seen anything. So well, that's it. Well, this like, asking that definitely. Um, I'm sorry, did we, did we, did, when did this, when did that, Interaction, but when the like, like when the, what was the beginning of this? 2017, 2017. end of 2017, I officially began designing and, and building all this and, and tech behind it. That was a year recently. Yeah, so, so a lot of people um, wonder about that. This has been in development for three, three and a half years. We've been in stealth mode. Yeah. And the reason we stayed in stealth mode for so long is I wanted to make sure this product was tight. Yeah. I didn't want to start leaking in and talking about it before it was ready. Mm -hmm. It's ready. At this point, it's just a manual production and shipping. You know, That's so. great. Like, because with all the buzz and the hype of the MT and all this stuff, it's like your creation is creation of this was way before that, before the, the hotness of MT and Top Shot. I mean, like, people are comparing that to this, but it's nothing like that. You know, it's secret sauce that you can't really bulge on. Right. And so it's just crazy that it's kind of lined up that way, but in your own. It is unique. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the timing. It's been good. Mm -hmm. so, you guys have a question? Another question. Hero Sports Cards. Is the NBA going to get involved in marketing at some point? That's a great question, Hero Sports Cards. The NBA doesn't do that. Um, they don't they do not do marketing for Nike or any of their their their, their, their licensees. Uh, what they do want everyone to know, and they've told me this to tell everyone, when you use the NBA logo, mm -hmm. that's a billion dollar logo right there. <laughs> yeah. That's their stamp of approval for us. Okay. Uh, early when we first came out, one of the biggest questions are, you guys really have a license? If we use this license and we weren't licensed, we'd be in big trouble, right? <laughs> right. So, um, no, they, just giving us the branding alone is, is great. The support is, is wonderful. So, um, but generally speaking, though, the NBA doesn't doesn't go out and market for their licensees because then they have to do it for all of them, mm -hmm. right? Whether it's jerseys or hats or t-shirts or shoes. That's on each individual company to determine the type of marketing they want. Yeah, you see this being so hyped, like from like you know, follow follow house the highlights and future report, whatever, and seeing how they mix the mental. You know, they do the uh, uh, I was gonna say Counter Strike. That was so long ago. What are they playing now? Like I'm not hero. I'm so old. <laughs> <laughs> Fortnite. Fortnite and all that, and like you know Travis Scott and like just the blend of the culture and to see that and just. This is so in line with that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think we have another question. Peter, <laughs> when are we going to be able to buy the display spaces for the tile? Great question. Yeah, we will. Um, we have a number of different types of cases we're thinking about. Um, and we'll probably honestly ask you guys for feedback on them too. Um, we have some prototypes that we'll be listing on the site coming up in the, in the next several weeks. So uh, keep checking back, follow us on social media, make sure our emails aren't going to spam. Social at Sequoia Games. We'll constantly be sending information there. But we have several ideas of how we, we, we're going to allow you to show these off. Yeah. And uh, some pretty creative ones, too. Yeah. Um, Crazy to bring back, like, just thinking as a kid, I had those big ass blinders, you know? Mm -hmm. And, like, these cards. Well, yeah, these are a little thicker. Yeah, thicker, yeah. But I'm so um, curious to see how you do that. Yeah, we're working on it. So that makes this cool. 
Ross again. Well, online matching we've day one. Is there an against the computer levels and team ratings like a video game? Great question. So, uh, the game initially is launching physical only. Okay, the app will um, will complement and, and, and be more of a companion to the physical. Mobile game is is in the works and and will be a version of this. It'll go a lot faster because uh, again the the CPU of your mobile device will will do all the work for you. Uh, but it'll be very similar. It'll be streamless and. And yeah, it'll 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 have matchmaking and all that stuff like you would find in any uh, any type of game in this genre. Right. That's what it was. Last question. And the last one: Are there any collaborations in the works? Griffin uh, uh, Griffin asks. Um, hello, Griffin. Hope you're well. Um, <laughs> collaborations? None that we can announce, but we are in talks with several different uh, companies about collaborations and. Uh, one of the things we hope to do is announce some press uh, in the coming weeks. You're going to start seeing game reviews on uh, some of the big, bigger websites come out. We're already shipping kits to media. Um, so they're out. They're out there. So you can use. Oh, yeah. We're, 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 we, we expect those in the next several weeks to start coming out. I think uh, there's, a, there's one dropping next week as well. So um, watch out for the press releases on collaborations. Nothing we can divulge now, but I can tell you there are things in the world. So much happening by the scenes. So, here we go. Neo asks, are there new any new packs up for release? Got the Kickstarter, added some rising stars. Any new packs coming? Yes. <laughs> um, we have first of all, we have five tiers of players initially. We may even add them into that. We have basic, rising star and rookie, all star, all NBA, MVP. MVP is the hardest to get. Okay. So for those of you who got the guaranteed drop on the Kickstarter, that was very smart. Because <laughs> we probably won't do a drop like that. But we plan to do combos. We also want you to be able to get the players you love, right? So we may do things like Eastern Conference, Western Conference, Pacific Division, Southwest Division. Uh, we might do point guards. We might do big men. We might do, you know, each, there, there are 11, um, 11 player types. So that's another drop of info. We have, uh, for example, assault, defensive, tanks, versatile players, flashy players, hustle players, high IQ players. Mm -hmm. We might do drops of those types of players. And so, uh, to answer your question, uh, Neil, stay tuned. And again, like I said in the post, uh, that's that time. If you want a special exclusive discount code, DM our page. DM the Instagram, make sure if you want the code, you have to DM us on our Instagram page. So, and just say hi. Thank you. Anyone's in your <laughs> Yeah, all right, well I think we covered, we covered what we wanted to, right? Yeah, I mean, I just wanted to see it. Actually, this is super dope. Um, so much props to you, man, just to, Thank you. Lock, lock yourself away for three weeks in a room and just like stay in. It's been a three, three and a half year journey since. Yeah, it's been a three and a half year journey since, and it's going to be amazing. So, congratulations on this, and I, I'm excited for everybody to see this. Mm -hmm. Good hanging out, everyone. All right, peace.